Welcome to Protein Treats. Today we have such a fun treat for you. When I was growing up, my mom always made homemade strawberry shortcake and it was so good and so delicious with these flaky pastries and lots of real whipped cream with lots of fresh strawberries from our garden. And I thought summer is here and we all want to be out on our decks with our friends and family and who doesn't love strawberry shortcake? So I'm going to show you guys how to make a low carb, high protein, high fiber version of strawberry shortcake so you can cheat and feel healthy. All right, let's get started. All right guys, I think you're gonna love this recipe because it's so easy to make. Now for our dry ingredients, you're gonna need a quarter teaspoon of salt, you're gonna need one teaspoon of baking powder, you're gonna need a third of a cup of coconut flour, a quarter cup of baking stevia, you could use Splenda, and you're gonna need two scoops of vanilla neutraline. Now we're also going to add for our wet ingredients, eight ounces of cream cheese. Now I like full fat cream cheese. You can use a low fat if you want. I have four eggs and I have a quarter cup of real butter. Now the butter you want to melt and then bring back to room temperature. Don't try to mix hot butter in with your wet ingredients. And that's it. So we're going to mix all of our dry ingredients together and then we're going to fold them into our wet ingredients. I'll show you how easy it is. So I'm gonna start out here with two pretty level scoops, I would say, of our Neutraline. And just go ahead and put that in there. And then we're gonna add in our Stevia and our coconut flour, our baking powder, and our salt. And that's all we need for our dry ingredients. Now when you're doing this, just make sure that you mix it so that it's completely even all the way through. Now for our wet ingredients, I'm going to start with my eggs that I've already cracked. I'm just going to pour them right in there. And I'm going to add in uh, my cream cheese. Now I've softened it already so it's room temperature. And you can tell when you, when you touch it, when you pick it up, it's nice and malleable, nice and soft. And that's what's going to have it mix well. If it's too cold, it's not going to mix for you. And we're gonna add in our real butter. Now, you guys know that watch me, I like to use real fats when I'm cooking. Now, if you're using a lot of fat and you start adding in things like sugar or simple carbohydrates like white flour, that's the fastest way you can gain weight. So even on a high protein diet, if you're eating a lot of fat and you're mixing it in with a lot of simple carbohydrates, then you're gonna wind up, those are just extra calories. But when your body's actually in ketosis and you're burning fat, you can eat fat and the calories don't get stored the same as they do with sugar calories. So that's why for me, I'm pretty careful about how I eat. I don't eat a lot of carbs and I don't eat a lot of sugar. So I go ahead and I use a lot of real fat in my cooking, which makes it taste absolutely amazing. So that's my little tip for being healthy and losing some weight. Now we're gonna go ahead and mix this up make a little bit of noise and once it's mixed really well we're gonna add in our dry ingredients okay so once we have our wet ingredients really nice and mixed up now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start adding in our dry ingredients and just do a little bit at a time and then mix it again do a little bit at a time so just like this we're gonna put in maybe a quarter of our dry mixture And then we're going to scrape the sides and put in the rest of our dry ingredients, just like that. And this couldn't be any easier. It's already smelling amazing in here. The vanilla Neutraline smells so good. So you can see the consistency here is a little bit like cake batter. So what you don't want to try and do is put them out on a cookie sheet and do them up like biscuits because you're just gonna wind up with a goopy mess. So that's why we're using a mini muffin tin. You can go ahead and use a regular muffin tin, just sort of double your amount. And we'll put the instructions in the description below for both. But I'm gonna use the mini tin and show you guys how easy it is. We're gonna pop this in the oven at 350 degrees for about 12 to 13 minutes for the mini. And if you're using a full muffin tin and just filling the bottom of it, you're gonna want about 15 minutes at 350 degrees, just keep an eye on it. And one thing when you're working with a coconut flour, 
It's a very dense flower, so you want to use lots and lots of coconut spray to make sure it doesn't stick to your pan. All right, guys, so this couldn't be any easier. Just going to take your scooper and go ahead and about one scoop for each of your little mini tin. So what's great about this recipe is it's not crumbly at all. It holds its shape beautifully. So when you go and cut it in half to build out your strawberry shortcake, it's beautiful, it holds up great. Pop out nice and easy, look at that. And I'm gonna show you how they hold their shape. So we're just gonna take one, put it on its side here. Obviously you wanna let yours cool. And look at that, beautiful and cakey, nice and cakey, and they'll hold their shape perfectly. Look at that, you guys, how delicious is this? This is the perfect summer treat. You're absolutely gonna love it. And when you serve this to people coming over, if you have company coming or even your own kids, they're not gonna believe that this is made out of protein, that it has no added sugar, and it tastes absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna go ahead and taste test poison control, right? Look at this. Mm. So good, so decadent. Now this is cheating with a protein treat. All right guys, I hope you liked this episode. Make sure you tune in next Friday when we release another one. I would love to hear your comments and tell me what you want me to make for you. All right guys, bye.